Hello everybody, Jake here from FM Scout and it delights me to say that I'm finally making a Football Manager 21 video. This is my first video. You can expect to see loads more videos like this on the FM Scout channel going forward. And as you've probably seen from the title before you clicked on this video, we're going to be looking at 10 of the best wonder kids in this particular save five years in the future. We know a lot of you guys are interested in who the best wonder kids will be, so I'm going to showcase 10 of the best wonder kids in this save. But obviously, as you may or may not know, Football Manager with wonder kids, they have like a range of potentials. So this means that in your save, different players might reach the peak. And some of the players that I show off might not do as well, but we're going to look into 10 players who have done really well in this save. Ones that I think have a pretty good chance of doing well in near enough every save. So we're going to go into it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Before we get started with the first guy on this list, it's always good to hear your guys' opinions. So let us know in the comments who you're expecting to be the best wonder kid in the game and who are you most excited to develop and make into a star. Now with that being said, let's get into the first player. And no surprises here, the first player on the list that we're looking at is Mason Greenwood. He's one in real life that is already being slapped with a generational talent label and he seems to be doing pretty well in this Football Manager save. Apologies for not having the face packs here, I'll install that all soon, but this is like the first day of Football Manager, there's not enough time for that really. But immediately you can see here that Mason Greenwood is astonishing really. His stats we'll get into in a second, but he scored 26 goals in 57 England caps now, with the likes of Harry Kane being around, I imagine. By the fact that it's saying that he's natural in this right wing position, even though he is natural at front two, he's probably been playing on the wing for England and Manchester United, and he's done well enough that he's still scoring nearly half the amount of times that he's played in, which is incredible stats for his country, and we can see that he's scored nearly 60 goals in 200 appearances on the right wing, not bad at all from Mason Greenwood there. He's on a contract of £275,000 per week at the age of 23 with a value of almost £80 million either footed. We know that from real life. His physicals look amazing. He's going to be tearing it down the wing with pace like that. And he's got everything he needs to be a great goal scorer, even out on the wing. He's got the finishing, the composure, that anticipation that he needs as well as great off the ball movement and technique. And it's also quite nice. He has a bit of flair in there. His heading could be a little bit better, but at the end of the day, he seems to have been deployed on the right wing mostly, so he'd be putting crosses in more than heading crosses into the net, and his crossing isn't the highest, but I imagine he'd be deployed as more of an inside forward with stats like this, great passing, and just an all-round top talent. Let's see how he has done in his last few seasons, so I believe this will be the first football manager season. We can see in his first season, he hit 12 goals in 32 games, that is the most goals he got in a season matched in the 2023 season. Maybe not the most consistent player with four goals in this season, but overall I think you can see pretty good stats and we don't class this top season really because it's only just started in this simulation. Mason Greenwood looks like a top player, as many of us would expect, and now we're going to move on to our next player. A fellow winger who is now at Manchester United too, but didn't start there, and we're going to be looking at Ansu Fati. Before we get into Ansu Fati, I'll leave a link to my channel in the description. We're growing quite nice over there, heading slowly towards 400 subscribers. I'm planning on doing a beta save with Chelsea, so if anyone's interested in watching that, feel free to click the link and join us down there. But yes, Ansu Fati hasn't had the same success on an international level as Mason Greenwood did, but 15 goals in 55 caps at only the age of 22 is still very impressive. Still only 22, he plays for Barcelona in real life, has moved to Manchester United, is on £180,000 a week with a value of £72 million. Already classed as an elite winger at the age of 22, right-footed, so again, I assume he would be an inside forward on this left wing. Physically, again, it's a really impressive winger build here with agility, acceleration and pace, which obviously is brilliant for a player like that. Natural fitness and balance at a good level too, with a decent amount of stamina and strength. So pretty much what you'd expect from a winger. He seems to have everything he needs to be a good goal scorer, composure, finishing, off the ball and technique, all at a very high level. Interestingly, he has 20 flair, which is obviously the maximum for flair. So a very skillful player. His mental stats all around are pretty good too. 15 determination will obviously help him out. Anything 13, 14 above usually means that the player is pretty determined and will grow nicely. On top of that, a decent passing stat, a good crossing stat, which makes him more of a versatile winger than Mason Greenwood because he can add a bit more to his collection than just goals. 16 dribbling, 15 first touch, meaning he's definitely good on the ball, and 15 long shots is a nice little bonus there. You don't often see that on a winger, but I'm sure that he gets quite a lot of goals from long range with them stats. Let's look at how he did for Barcelona and Manchester United. So we can see this is the first season here. And wow, looking at these average ratings across all of the seasons, he's been really impressive. I can see why Manchester United bought him. So first season at Barcelona, nine goals, no assists with a 7.11 match rating. That's pretty good for a first season for a player who at the time is probably, what, 17, 18? Then in the next season, in only 27 matches this time, scoring more goals and getting five assists with a 7.51 match rating, really coming into his own. But then he's played 27 matches for Barcelona, 
and scored nine goals, assisted one, not as good as that second season, but still a 7.42 match rating, which got him a move for only £58 million. I think Manchester United have done decent business there. That's not a bad value for a player like Ansu Fati. And then the season after, not playing as many matches, hitting the same amount of assists with a couple less goals, but still, Ansu Fati looks like an absolutely brilliant winger. Now we're going to move on to our next player. The next player we're looking at is the Englishman Giovanni Arena. Now don't shout at me, I know he's American in real life, or at least he plays for the American national team. But this also happens to me on FM22, where eventually he chooses the England national team. If it happens in real life, I'd be very surprised. He's already started playing for the America team now, I believe. Got called up for their most recent squad, so I'm just going to assume he is an American international normally. But what a player this guy is. He plays for Borussia Dortmund currently in real life and is already looking like a star at a really young age. An elite attacking midfielder at the age of 22. Great physical stats. I mean, he's six foot one, which is quite tall for an attacking midfielder. But he's just as quick as most attacking midfielders are, which really helps his game, but he's got a decent jumping reach in there too, alongside some nice strength. Looks really good physically. Then we go to his mentals, where again, you can see some really good mental stats in terms of that attacking phase of the game with great anticipation, off the ball, vision and work rate. Exactly what you need for an attacking midfielder. By the way, he can play central midfield naturally too, which is very useful. Great technique, great passing, great free kicks, great first touch, great dribbling, great corners. You get the idea, he's great. And that is just the general gist of Giovanni Arena. Starts off in the Dortmund team, does really well for the first few seasons. Nothing too impressive until about 2022 when he gets 11 goals and 7 assists. And then the next season, 8 goals and 9 assists. Gets a big move to Liverpool where he had a brilliant first season for them really. 7.42 average match rating, 9 goals and 8 assists for a £74 million player is brilliant. He's only going to go on and be better for Liverpool. Some really good American talent coming through. There's an American player who I'll leave last on the list who looks absolutely brilliant too. And now we're going to move on to the next player. And it's another Premier League player here who's doing really well. At the age of 25, he does start off a bit older than the other players on this list. But Phil Foden, how can you deny a talent like this? I mean, 25 years old, 49 caps and 6 goals for England. 53 goals in 189 appearances in that attacking midfield spot for Manchester City. Suggests he's pretty good because he's hitting nearly the same amount of goals as Mason Greenwood and Ansu Fati are. The left-footed elite attacking midfielder has got great physicals along with some nice traits here too. But he's got the speed and he's got a decent bit of strength too which is obviously going to help him. I think the things that set Foden apart from a lot of other players though are these mental stats. Not just his determination which is not the best but not the worst. 15 determination will help him of course. It's these things that are quite hard to train in my opinion. Decisions, concentration, composure off the ball, vision, these are things that it's hard to find in a young player and Phil Foden has got bags and bags of ability in these areas including some good work rate, teamwork, just a top player. You can see here if you're seeing lots of greens around that means he's a top player and no wonder he's on £275,000 a week valued at £80 million. Then his technicals just add on to that that he's got 16 dribbling, 18 first touch, good free kicks, good finishing, good crossing, you get the idea, it's good all around. His technique and his passing at a really high level too, which are really going to help him in terms of chance creation and goals scored. Let's have a look at how he's done. And straight away, I can see in his 2023 season, he must have won some awards there. I mean, 17 goals, 13 assists. He's really hitting his prime here. The season after, doing even better according to the average match rating with 14 goals and 10 assists from the attacking midfield spot. That is so good. So fair play to him. And we're going to look at the first defender on this list. And the first defender that I found that's really impressed me is Jean-Claire Todibo. This is a guy he was good on Football Manager 20. It looks like he's insane on Football Manager 21. Not only has he got amazing physicals for a defender, at six foot three too, might I add, he's pacey with 18 pace, which is, I think that might be faster than some of the wingers that we looked at, alongside 17 strength. What an absolute unit this guy is. 30 games played for France at the age of 25. Again, I haven't checked, but you can imagine this is a ball playing defender with 17 passing and trying to play his way out of trouble. Brings the ball out of defence. He seems to suit that role perfectly. His mentals are great too. Good determination, good composure. Concentration is good. Decisions are good. That's always a good sign for centre-backs. Anticipation too. Bravery is good. So he reads the game well, but on top of his 17 passing, which is obviously a bonus for a defender like that, he's got 17 marking, 17 tackling, 15 technique, 14 first touch and 13 dribbling. Alongside a good heading stat too, Jean-Claire Todibo is everything you'd ever need in a centre-back really. It was in 2021 where he got his first appearances properly for Barcelona. Hit 19 appearances, looked good but not amazing. Then he had his breakout season in 2022 with an average rating of 7.61 for Barca. 
four assists from the centre-back position is not bad at all. Then another good season in 2023, earned him an £86 million move into PSG's team. He's only had one full season really at PSG and looked good there. And yeah, I mean, you just have to look at his stats to know that he is an absolutely insane defender to play with. I have a feeling this guy's going to be good in pretty much every save. So if you can get a hand on him before Barcelona break him into the first team, could be a good idea. Jean-Claire Tadibo, what a beast. Now we're going to move on to another beast, but in midfield this time, and that is Eduardo Camavinga. He's still only 22 in this save, meaning he starts off quite young. We all know him from FM20, where he was an absolute tank. This guy's a world-class midfielder at only 22 years old for the French national team, 43 appearances. Left-footed, can play naturally in defensive midfield and central midfield. I think he's best suited to central midfield, where he can really utilise some of his more technical stats. But again, off the bat, we look at his physicals and we see that he's a pretty all-round player with some nice agility, strength, pace, all mixed into a six-foot player in central midfield. That's exactly what you need, really, in a midfielder. Really good decisions, concentration, anticipation, positioning, work rate, vision. No wonder he's a great CDM, but an also great reader of the game in that midfield spot. Then you can add on to that some really good technicals to boast about, too. It doesn't look like he's going to score you a crazy amount of goals with only nine finishing and 10 long shots, but he's got 16 marking, which obviously helps him in the defensive phase. Good tackling too, but great passing technique and a great first touch and dribble, meaning that he can just like receive the ball in the midfield, progress play forward for you, let some other players do the finishing, but he can just read the game absolutely brilliantly here. He's playing for Bayern Munich. He doesn't start there. He's at Rennes in real life. Spent two seasons at Rennes in-game developing his game. Then he moved to Manchester United for £60 million, which isn't too bad really. And then a few years later, went to Bayern for a big move for £106 million. And you can see for a central midfielder who maybe was deployed as a CDM for these teams, we don't really know. He's hitting around 7.2 every season since he's really started developing. With a nice mix of assists and goals, I said he wouldn't be out there getting goals. But for Manchester United, 8 goals that season, 6 goals that season. So Eduardo Camavinga, what more can you say about this guy? An absolute beast of a midfielder. It seems like England and France are producing some really talented players for the future. And now there's going to be another French player for the first goalkeeper on the list. Okay, so the goalkeeper we're looking at who seems to have done really well in this save is the Leeds goalkeeper. And if I pronounce this wrong, I'm sorry. I think I heard it on Match of the Day the other day. Ilan Melier, I think it's pronounced. I think the S is silent. If it's not, let me know in the comments. This guy is 25 years old and looks like the successor for Larice for the France national team, having 41 appearances by the age of 25. Still at Leeds, conceding a fair amount of goals, to be honest, but what do you expect in a Premier League team? You can see Leeds also got relegated from the Premier League, so no wonder he's conceded so many goals. He's probably not playing in the best team, but he decided to stick around and fair play to him. His best season coming in that championship season where he got a lot more clean sheets, but in the Premier League for Leeds in only 2021 and 2022, to get 10 clean sheets and 15 clean sheets, is not bad at all for a player who at that time is probably what, like 22 years old, 23 years old? But overall, with a lot of green stats and some high stats around 14, 15, at only the age of 25, and goalkeepers don't usually hit their prime till a little bit later in Football Manager, along with some good physicals and mentals, this is a guy who, if you sign him, probably will be your long-term goalkeeper. I mean, if he's doing the job for France, he'll probably do the job for most teams in the world. But Melier looks brilliant in his own right, playing for that Leeds team. He's the only goalkeeper to make the list, so fair play to him. And now we're going to move on to our next player, who I think is just a little bit of a bargain. So keep your eye out for this guy, and it's Matthias Palacios. So here he is, the Argentinian, 23 years old, now playing for Manchester City, getting £230,000 a week and valued at £70 million. Now remember this for a minute, because when you find out how much you can buy this guy for, I think you'll be very intrigued. Now this is a guy who is playing for one of the best teams in the Premier League, can play naturally in the attacking midfield spot or that midfield central spot with some great physical stats. His mental stats are really high. No wonder he's done so well with 20 determination. Now that probably suggests to me his determination has probably got a bit of a range. Now in your save, it might not be 20, which might affect how good he turns out to be. But I think no matter what, if his determination's anywhere above 10, he's probably still gonna be a bargain for how good he turns out to be. Good off the ball, good vision, Good anticipation, everything he needs to be a creative player in that midfield. Great technique, great first touch and great dribbling. You can imagine how it is for an attacking midfield player. This is really all you need. Seven goals for Argentina and 34 appearances, so he's doing well there. With decent finishing, good tackling too, so he's not useless in the defensive phase of the game. He'll put in a shift for you in midfield. And now let's see how much you can get him for now. He starts to save at San Lorenzo. You can see he's actually spent his first season there. 
in Argentina, appearing 16 times, scoring once and getting four assists. Now, then Man City have bought him for £5.5 million. Unless this is a pre-arranged deal, which it might be, but I don't think it is, then this is a really good price to get him at. You can see that Man City instantly loaned him out to Stuttgart in Germany, where he did really well in the Bundesliga, and then since then has been a mainstay in that Man City team really early on in his career, really. But assuming Man City got him for the average price that you can get him for, let's say anywhere between 3 million and 10 million, even if you bought him for 10 million, I think you'd still be doing a pretty good job because this is a guy who, like we saw, is now valued at, I think it was 70 million pounds, wasn't it? Getting nine goals, eight goals, eight assists, two assists, four assists, average rating of around seven for a player who's going to cost you next to nothing really in terms of the returns that he's going to get in a Premier League level. He's going to make you money even if you don't use him. You can loan him out and sell him, but I think he looks absolutely brilliant. Again, could just be down to this determination that we got given in this save, but I think overall he looks like he's going to turn out to be a good player, at least in the majority of saves. So let me know if he's good for you guys in your beta saves. And now we're going to move on to the final two players in our list. The player we're looking at is the Albanian centre-back Marash Kambula, playing for Roma, valued at £53 million, 145 grand a week. An elite centre-back at the age of 25, Standing at six foot three, obviously that's good for a centre back with enough jumping reach and heading to get you plenty of goals from corners. 17 for both stats and some good physical stats. He's not the quickest, he's not the slowest either, he's strong. If you partnered him with Tadebo from earlier, then you'd have an absolutely brilliant defence. Some good mental stats too, a nice bit of determination, anticipation, positioning, reads the game well, which obviously you need in that centre back spot. Great marking, great tackling, great heading. He's probably one of them who suits the more defensive-minded centre-back roles rather than like the progressive ball-playing roles. So if you partner him with a good ball-playing defender, you're probably going to get the best out of him that way. This guy starts off on loan at Roma, which is the same in real life, so he's already there. I don't know if it's a two-year loan or whether they extended it in the game, but he's on loan at Roma for a few years and then joins for £20 million. There's a good chance it's a pre-arranged deal, but even still, if you can get him a few seasons later... You can just see this guy turns out to be an absolute beast at 25 years old, an absolute star player for Roma. If you can get your hands on this guy, then brilliant, but I think he's just a really good player to admire in that centre-back role. You don't often get a modern-day centre-back so focused on the defensive phase of the game and not as much the passing game. So this guy looks absolutely brilliant, and now we're going to move on to the last player in the list. And finally, we're looking at an American international, I promise there'd be another one, and it's Yunus Musa. The American international has scored 13 goals in 57 appearances for the American national team. Great physical stats in that midfield, six foot tall. Probably not as good as some of the other players in this list, but still a really good player for someone who's valued at £62 million at 22 years old. America is producing some really good talent at the minute. Alongside them good physical stats, he's got some good mentals too. Again, this could be one of them cases where his determination came out higher than it would in other saves. Maybe in your saves, it'll be even higher than 16 and it'll go on to even bigger heights. But this is a guy who is in real life too, being labelled as one of the wonder kids for the future. He's a very all-round player, but with a nice technique, first touch, off the ball and vision, he'd be really useful probably at playing players in behind spaces. With 14 passing and 15 dribbling, that will help him with this. He's just such an all-round solid player. I don't think anyone would complain about having this guy in their team. If we look at his career so far, he starts off at Valencia, where apparently they got him from Arsenal for £90,000. A bit of a bargain there, really. This is probably another case of those young English players going abroad to get more game time, and it's working. I don't blame them, really, for doing it. Getting around a 7 match rating most seasons and pushing it as high as a 7.24 in his most recent season as a 21-22 year old. So you can see as he is hitting his peak, he's doing even better with nine goals and eight assists for a Valencia team. That is very good in under 40 appearances. Other seasons, he's picking up assists as well as some goals here and there. This season here for Valencia, eight goals, seven assists. Just an all-round top player that you don't really, I didn't really expect to see this guy when I was looking through the lists of the best players in this save. So fair play to Musa for appearing there. I wanted to put him in here as kind of one of them players that you don't really expect so he is the final player on this list and that will be the end of today's video i hope you did enjoy it there's going to be so much content on the fm scout channel in the coming days and weeks and months and for the whole life cycle of fm21 it's what we do here so hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you haven't already so that you don't miss any of our uploads like the video if you did enjoy it, it really helps us out and comment down below who you're most excited to see in Football Manager 21. I hope you have enjoyed the video, I've been Jake for FM Scout and I'll see you in the next video guys, goodbye.